I know many of you were having trouble accessing the Magnet Lab, so I'm going to kind of go through the simulation on the screen here in a video. That way you can follow along in case you're not able to open up the lab. So if we go to the first question, it says that we're supposed to run the strength up and down and see how we can tell the difference between a strong magnet and a weak magnet. So there's 100%. I'll go down to 0% and then back up to 100%. So you should be able to see what happens, how the simulation shows whether you have a strong or weak magnet. Okay, the next thing is I'm supposed to collect, show the field meter, and I'm supposed to position this at various spots. So first is at the south pole of the magnet, touching the magnet. And then we're supposed to read B, which is going to be the field reading. Next one is at the north pole, touching the magnet. So go to the north pole, touching the magnet. Again, read B. We're supposed to touch the magnet at its midpoint. And again, read B. It's supposed to go three rows up and one row left of the south pole. and then read B. It's supposed to go five rows up and five rows left. And then five rows down and five rows right. Okay, that should be able to answer the questions. Then the next one says, I'm now on four, with the magnet as its strongest, reverse the polarity, where it says flip polarity. And I'll even have the field meter on here just so you can see what happens to that. Okay, the next one says to unclick the field meter. Make sure the compass is shown. And then when the compass is touching the bar magnet at its midpoint, then when it's far away from the bar magnet, but still on a perpendicular bisector of the magnet. Then when it's touching the north pole of the magnet, and then when it's very far from the magnet. And then I need to see inside the magnet to help answer question seven. Okay, then we're going to click and move along to part B, so I need to go to the pickup coil. And it says, um, I have a bar magnet, a coil, a wire, and then I want to know which one is creating the magnetic field and how we can tell. 
And then I'm supposed to move the bar magnet around the outside. of the coil of wire and observe what happens. Then 11 says move it back and forth inside the coil of wire. And then I'm supposed to change the strength of the field and try it again. So here's at 100%. And then I'll go down and do like 15%. so you can see the difference. <clears throat> and I'm supposed to have this back up to 75%. And then I'm supposed to increase the number of loops from one to three and see what happens. So here's one loop. Then I'll go to two loops. Then I'll go to three loops. Then I'm supposed to replace the incandescent bulb with the voltmeter and then move this back and forth. answer those questions. Then I'm going to go to the next part, which is part C, the electromagnet. And we want to see what effect that the battery seems to be having on the wire. And then I'm supposed to increase the number of loops. I'll start at one loop. There's two loops, three loops, and four loops. Now we're supposed to see what effect this has on the magnetic field. And I could put a field meter here in case you can't tell. I'm supposed to decrease the voltage of the battery from 10 to 5 and describe two changes that occurred. I'll go back up to 10 and then back down to 5. Then I'm going to go to 0. It says what happens when the voltage is 0. Then the next one says, I'm going to slide the bar to the left. And they want to know what happens. So there's the left. Then I'm going to go to the right. Then I'm going to go back to the left. So you can figure out what happens. Next one, 22, says set the voltage to 10. And we want to know what the magnetic field strength is inside the coil of wire. Then I'm going to decrease it to 5 and see what that happens to the field strength. The next one wants to know what the relationship between the voltage and the field strength. Then the last one says to replace the battery with the AC current supply. And it wants to know what effect that this has on the wire, the compass, and the magnetic field meter.
All right, so hopefully this video will then help you answer the questions if you're not able to open a simulation.